Uno, dos. The electricity saga continues. We removed the whole unit over here. By the way, we didn't have electricity yesterday or last night. But one of these things here, this metal piece that's connected to the main switch on and off for the electricity for the whole panel, I noticed there was like a black color going down onto one piece. And we believe this one has been burning up, making that zzz, zzz electricity sound. So maybe this is the root of the cause. So we're gonna switch that out. So if you look at this piece here, it's supposed to be plain copper color, but it's actually quite worn out or dirty, despite being inside of the electricity panel its whole life. So you just have to uh, maintain it a little bit. So what's going on? It's just so burnt. All right, spent about 20 minutes cleaning these guys with sandpaper. And then we're gonna attach it back to the unit, tighten it up really well, make sure all the cables are aligned perfectly, connecting to the metal pieces, and hopefully that's gonna fix the electricity saga. We also gotta make sure all of these cables are connected perfectly onto the other metal pieces. You can see these ones are kind of worn out, a little bit dirty. So hopefully they will still work, like this one especially. He looks very old. A lot of brown stuff, black stuff. So I don't know if that's a good thing to put back on. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, go! We must protect Mother Earth or farewell Morals and marine life is the only way for the atmosphere to survive. Protect the ocean and mankind will thrive. If not, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Where's our electricity? <laughs> it's been broken so many times We don't know what to do We're so reliant on technology, it's embarrassing Alex! Hello, Peter! Are you sleeping? Yeah! Are you okay? Yeah, fine! <laughs> Welcome, Bridger! How was the dive? Yeah! Loading up the truck with uh, five tanks or six, how many? Six. Four, six tanks? Seven, yeah. We can seven? Seven, you can some extra. Just in case? So just in case, because oh, okay. it's too far. Okay, okay. Interesting, but we're going yeah. to a very special dive set. Oh, there he goes! There we go. Okay, let's go to the entry point. This is gonna be a very, very special wall. You, you can't miss this as well. I'm gonna update you about this dive set very soon because... All right, we made it to the dive set. We're staying at a friend called Mark. He invited us to park here, set up the gear and jump into the water. Very early in the dive, we stumbled upon this beautiful nudibranch that I couldn't identify through my scientific books of identification. But how this one extinct himself from the others is the single sparkly line in the center of the body. So perhaps this is a new discovery. Here's another nudibranch or a slug, a name that I won't try to pronounce, but it is endemic to the Philippines. Only found here, discovered in 2003. Fascinating colors, kind of translucent with the milky, creamy things inside of him. Something out of an alien movie. Love this guy.
And the last creator of this style was a nudie brand called Glossidores Acosti Matsuta. <laughs> Found only the PNG and Philippines. But well, what was surprising, he was discovered in 2018 and we've seen this guy all over the place. Pretty awesome dives at the Rico. We actually did two of them, one night dive and now the daytime. And yeah, there's just countless of things to see in that area. I mean, only scratch, I want to say the surface, but the bottom of it. <laughs> there's so many pillars and we only were looking at the bottom. But on each and every single pillar, there's actually so much vegetation, so many corals that you can spend endless amount of time just checking them out, searching for stuff. So uh, yeah, we only scratched the surface of that. And now we're back at a very local dive area with our buddy Jeffy, right? Jeffy? Yes. Jeffy. Jeffy. <laughs> Alex hurt his foot. Dude, Alex, he, he swam with us with almost a broken foot. It's a really bad strain, but... No, he, he got an x-ray and it's, uh, it's fractured. fractured. That's I'm a like, broken why, foot. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? You didn't have to come diving. And we, we thought he was like really tired, but he, he just didn't, he didn't want to say no. He was in pain, but he still dove with us. Didn't say anything. It's crazy. And that's his buddy, and uh, he's joining us today. We're gonna check out a dive site we've been to before, which is uh, like a few, maybe 100 meters down that way. But we're gonna start the entry here from the shore. A very local, raw uh, village area. Fishing, Just, yeah, fishing community. Did you did you post that video about the tiger shrimp? Yeah, I think I put it in some clips, but that's I, maybe we'll see those again. Hopefully, Same hopefully. Spot. So we are only we basically just pay the locals here a parking fee and they let us stay here and uh, dive. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Should be a good one. Let's go. My favorite thing about diving here in Darwin is how many creatures we see on each and every dive. And it's almost guaranteed we see a new species every time. Even worms are interesting. These are underwater worms and they're exciting because we never know what kind of shape or color they come in. I mean, you don't see worms above land in these shapes or colors, but underwater they're cool. Then out in the open on the sandy bottom, we notice this giant sea cucumber. And when we see these guys, we always check them out because there could be some parasite and even rare stuff on them. And there we see a small white dot. And if we take a closer look, we see this cool blue dotted white crab hanging onto his dear life. And then Jeffy, our dive guide, called us over because he had found something. A Tropania scura ghostliner found in the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia, discovered in 2008. And these type of nutter branks are tiny, absolutely tiny, maybe two to four millimeter long. Love his colors, texture, absolutely gorgeous, first one for me. And the second one here is, I believe, a subspecies of the Trepania. However, I couldn't find anything about him in my books. Maybe another species. The closest thing that I came to finding about him was one from Indonesia. So again, maybe the second species, new one in this video. And then to top it all off, we got the most epic footage of flamboyant cuttlefishes that I've ever seen. Not only did Justin stumble upon one or two, but three of them. We believe the biggest one is the female and then you got two males kind of following her around. Check this out. Okay, lunch is here. We got a vegan food, the arancini, and the green machine. <laughs> Look at this color, Salim. Check out this color. Ooh. I don't know. 
I just like the name Green Machine. Your facial expression tells me that it's really bad. No, it's just so so cold. Oh, so it's cold. You don't like it? But I'm just super sleepy because there's snow. But is it good? Yeah. Okay. Fixed up. We have light. These poor guys. They're just meant to be cold. They had to suffer and now they're warm. So what was wrong, Finn? Well, like I predicted at the beginning, because the sparks were coming out of this area. So I thought this unit here obviously was broken or something maybe not connected properly. So sparks coming out here. Obviously, this is the problem. So at the beginning, I I told them, kind of guys, check this one out. There's sparks, and then we had the guys come over and some electricity company, and that company, they only tighten screws so that they didn't really fix any problem. It's like a lazy w way of doing things. So in the last, well, yesterday we ran out of electricity again. Same problems, sparks. So I told them to come today and. Unplug everything, let's check out the cables. We saw that, they wrote it black, so we cleaned some of them. And the copper ones that go into this panel here, we just cleaned them and put them back in place. But the whole unit we replaced because we could see also <coughs> because we could see corrosion everywhere inside where the other cables are connected into that unit. So uh, that one's gone out of the window. And apparently it was the original unit, so it's about 20, 25 years old. Electricity saga, done. For now. <laughs> and then we thought everything was ready. Now the aircon is not working. <laughs> but here's the thing, we managed to turn it on, but then on the outside where the main unit is, that one isn't functioning. Let me show you. Here on the outside, this unit, the invert VLG isn't functioning properly or it doesn't even turn on. So the electricity panel is complete. Everything is working inside. Everything is getting electricity, except there's some issue with that. Like I said, the aircon turns on, but not this unit, so. We're calling in our local friends to check it out. Hey Steve. Hey. How are you doing there? Good. Awesome guy. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Very high tide. How's the current? No current. Well, we did it back here. We built with my laptop. They fixed the uh, panel, so it's more stable now. We've had actually uh, open flames on these wires. But yeah, I was talking to my neighbor Steve here, very friendly people of course, and uh, yeah, told him about the electricity update, so let me inform you on that. Girlfriend gone mad. That should be the title of the video, Girlfriend Gone Mad. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pause for a second? Yeah. Okay, so you explained to me while I was scuba that the yeah. aircon is broken. Yeah. It burned out. Yeah. Okay, so to my understanding, sometime during the electricity panel fix, this unit over here burned out so they opened it or oh, was it inside or this one Both. burnt inside the other one the chip, the chip, the chip is burnt yeah. ah now I understand it okay so guess this what this means is that the electricity sometimes in the province is very dangerous there's a lot of fire hazards they were telling me they were, one of the electricity line bursted in flame because yeah, it's just not been maintained really well. The old cables have not been removed. They're just kept there. They add more onto it. 
everything is kind of unstable like this is a high voltage line so that to bring in extra thick cables to reduce the electricity so i guess what i'm saying is the panel which you know divides the electricity into here or something has put too much electricity onto these units and what that does it burns the chips so sometimes when you hear like a brownout and it destroys some of your um, electronics that's basically what happens what that really means is that when you have too much power onto these electronics it will burn them up and destroy them goodbye aircon it's okay jake we still have fan we've been having fans for a few days now and it's just fine so yeah for the last few days we've just been trying to fix things in the house and yes you guys commented about refund or whatever we're not paying for anything this is just part of the repair the maintenance of the house so we had a couple of days no electricity and uh no air con, which is fine we actually almost never run it except when we're sleeping <laughs> we like to sleep but it's cold now somehow but daytime we just run the fans and especially if it's cloudy there's no need for air con, so it's all right but yeah that's what we've been doing for the last few days diving in between when it's so hot they say it's rainy season but man it's been perfect blue skies and everything and we have some exciting news coming up soon next monday i have uh two interviews so i will be sharing about them if everything goes according to plan <laughs> we're also still looking for our vaccination waiting on that so yeah a lot of cool stuff coming up oh and tomorrow we're going to a place where we just got granted access to which put down and actually on the map but no one has been there for the last five years so we got access to it and that's going to be the next video stay tuned for that guys until next time peace out wherever the wind blows hold my hands journey with me across the Pacific from Fiji to Vanuatu Solomons to PNG Palau to the Philippines Explore all the islands Ah No electricity you need to sing and no electricity no electricity in it guy oh